What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dwayne and this is the 411. Today I'm giving you the 411 on Prada Lunarosa Ocean, the EDP version. Uh, I'm going to show you how I got this for pretty much just tax. It was worth $145 in stores and I just pay tax for this product. So I'll show you how I did that and how you maybe could save some money and up your fragrance game while smelling good, while looking good, while feeling confident. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I got this package here from Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, for you that live in the States that aren't familiar, Shoppers Drug Mart will be like your CVS. Uh, it's a pharmacy that sells um, designer and niche, if you want to call some Tom Ford's niche. Uh, so that's pretty much where I got this package from. Uh, I got a few samples in here as well that I'm very excited to show you guys. So let's get this open. All right, so that's what comes in the box. This is a gift set. Um, 50 ml with a 10 ml uh, on the side as well. So let's take a look at some of the freebies I got. I got Nina Ricci's Le Parfum. I'll be giving this to my fiance. Hopefully she enjoys that. Um, what else do we have? We have Paco Rabanne 1 million Royal. Now this one are though this is one of those samples that you got to pull the tab. Like I really don't like those samples. I prefer the bottle samples. If you know, you know. Um, and then I got the Giorgio Armani Aqua Di Giro Profondo Parfum. Okay, and uh, this, okay, I didn't know I was gonna get this. This is why I sell myself La Parfum. I uh, actually wanted to buy this fragrance originally, but I ended up getting this one. Um, I will be giving you guys a review of this one also, just to, in case you're interested, stay tuned for that. All right, so it comes packaged like that. And uh, that's essentially the gift set there. 50 ml with a 10 ml, so 60 ml in total. As I mentioned, this retails for $145 Canadian plus tax. And I got this just for the taxes alone. Uh, I'll show you guys how I did that in a minute. So very nice packaging. As far as Prada, they did really good with this. I don't know if I'll be keeping any of this, by the way. And in the gift box, let's take a look. There we go. So very nice presentation. Um, it's Prada, so they're gonna give you that high-end design and presentation, and I really like it. I may actually keep this in here, just because it just sits very well, uh, very accessible as far as the fragrance itself, okay? Um, I will be doing a quick comparison, not anything too in depth, with Prada Lunarosa Ocean, the EDT, just to give you guys an idea of how these two compare. I know there is a newer version of Ocean, uh, Le Parfum. Um, that one was kind of expensive out of my budget, and uh, when it comes to this fragrance game, you have to give yourself a budget. So I got this for free, and I didn't want to pay the $200 they're asking for. All right, so let's get this out, and let's get this on skin. All right, so there's the bottle. Very blue, very Prada, all the Prada Lunarosa lines. They have the same bottle type, um, different colors, of course, the Sport, the original, the Lunarosa Black, uh, Lunarosa Carbon, same bottle presentation. I really do like the blue gradient on this. It does say Parfum at the bottom. The EDT doesn't say anything about EDT, and also the uh, Le Parfum, I believe, is more of a red gradient as far as the bottle is concerned. All right, so let's get this on skin, enough talking. Check out the atomizer. I like that, I like that a lot. That smells really good. What I get from that first blast is a fresh, sweet, vanillic type of vibe. Kind of thick as well, like a, there's a bit of darkness to it. I'll check out the notes uh, for you guys in a minute, but in the air, that smells very good. A very mass appealing. I can't see anybody not liking this. Let's get it on skin, actually. Very nice atomizer. It does spray out a good amount. Um, with the collar, it does make the atomizer kind of weird to spray, but other than that, it blasts out pretty good. Oh, I like that. Okay, guys, so if you're into fresh, uh, sweet, fragrances, mainly mainly on the fresher side, with a bit of um, 
darkness and kind of like a mysterious vibe to it. So not just your fruity, playful, sweet, not your borderline feminine fragrances, but if you like that fresh, sweet with a bit of character, I believe this is the way to go. Um, I get a bit of the original as well. I get a bit of the EDT in here as well. Um, I don't know if the opening, uh, as far as notes, are the same. For example, I know that there's grapefruit in this one. I believe there's some vanilla. And there's some Embrox and Extreme, which never heard of that before. But I get the slight oceanic vibe. So as far as the EDP, and as far as it being called Prada Lunarosa Ocean, I do get a bit of freshness. I wouldn't say it's necessarily an aquatic freshness, but it is definitely fresh, aromatic, very close to the original with a bit more sweetness with a bit more character behind it that might be the best way i could describe them but as far as projection i'm getting a good amount of projection right now even when i spray that in the air i feel like it's dense enough and heavy enough where it will project um, as far as the longevity i'm not quite sure how that's going to be but i'm going to say you're going to get about foot and a half to two feet of uh, projection with this fragrance initially. The way it's sitting on my skin i think you might get decent longevity with the fragrance also let's go ahead and jump right into the notes so Prada Lunarosa Ocean EDP is a 2023 release. Uh, the notes are grapefruit in the top. We do have woody notes and frankincense in the mid and also vanilla and Ambrox and Extreme in the base. Now, as far as the frankincense, I believe that does come through. The grapefruit you definitely get. There's an opening of citrus there, nothing too heavy. They do get a lot of that woody notes, as it mentioned. It doesn't say what kind of woods you get, just woody notes, essentially. Uh, you do get that. Again, this is mixed very well. It's very smooth. Even with the opening on first spray, it wasn't harsh. So really, really like this fragrance. The vanilla is there. Uh, I believe when it comes to the Embrox and Extreme, you're looking at a woody, dry type of facet. It could be a slight animalic touch to it as well but nothing too overpowering nothing too crazy um, like I mentioned as far as this fragrance I believe it is mixed and composed very well okay so on my right hand I have the uh, EDT and on my left hand I have the EDP so the EDT is a lot fresher a lot more citrus up top uh, more blue it's a more of a blue fragrance uh, more aquatic I would say and I get a bit of a bubblegum sweetness to it as well. I like it. So let's compare that to the EDP. Okay, so again, not as fresh. I believe the citrus on this one on my skin is kind of dying down. So the grapefruit that's supposed to be in the top, that's kind of non-existent right now. But it is still kind of fresh. It gives you a slight bit of aquatic, but again, it is mixing more with that vanilla and the frankincense in there, not to mention the Ambroxan. So it's more of a sweet freshness as opposed to a fresh sweetness, if that makes sense. Now, I'm a big fan of sweet fragrances. So for me off bat, I'm gonna say go with Ocean EDP if you were to choose between these two. Uh, this one does what this one does, but this one adds a bit more depth to it. Again, if you want something that's just bright, citrusy, uh, something you want to wear just in the spring, summer, this would be good. But for all year round, I believe the EDP is the better version. Uh, you get that freshness, you get the sweetness. It'll be good for spring, summer, fall, winter. I think it'll do good as well. I'm just gonna get my fiance up here and I'm gonna have her just smell both. I'm gonna spray them fresh again, have her smell both, and I'll let you guys know what she says. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two fragrances to smell, okay? Okay. I think I like this better. That one? It's very creamy, vanilla, and it's giving like a like a dessert. It's like a creamsicle with like, like with like a peach cobbler or something like that. Like, nice, nice, okay. Do you smell it? Yeah. Like a peach cobbler. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I get creamy. that sweet, creamy vibe from it too. It's a creamsicle. Thanks, baby. That one smells good. Yeah. Definitely bring that on vacation. Definitely. All right, so my fiance gave her verdict on the fragrance and she prefers the EDP over the EDT. I believe her words were it's a more creamier, sweeter dessert kind of fragrance. Uh, so again, it does have that vanillic sweet semi gourmand facet to it. And I believe there's more mixed in here. Uh, again, aside from the vanilla, there might be like some tonka bean, uh, maybe a slight toffee vibe. I think that's where she got the dessert feeling from. But overall, a really good fragrance and I'll give you guys my verdict. As far as my final verdict on Prada Lunarosa Ocean, the EDP, I really do like it. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, I like the characteristic of the fragrance itself. It's fresh, it's amber sweet, it's slightly powdery. Uh, it kind of does what it does very well. Honestly, it is a well-rounded all-year fragrance, office-worthy, 
date worthy for sure. Hanging out with friends. As far as versatility, um, it's definitely up there. All right guys, so here's the list of my bill. Uh, so as you can see, the Prada Luna Rosa Ocean gift set was 145. The fragrances that are the samples are for free. Uh, they threw in the YSL Myself Le Parfum, which is the newest release from YSL. Uh, that was actually added as an extra gift. So that's like a five ML uh, sample. But again, all I paid for this was about $28, which is a tax on the $145. Now essentially, Shoppers Drug Mart, they have a program where if you redeem points, uh, in this case, I redeemed 100,000 points and I got a $140 value off anything I wanted. So all I did was pay the taxes on the 145. So essentially guys, if you are collecting points with your credit card, uh, in this case with a points card for uh, a store, make sure you do use those points. Uh, you could get free fragrances. Maybe it'll help cover at least half the cost of a bottle. All right guys, so that's the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I plan on doing a head to head with all three versions of the Luna Rosa Ocean line, the EDT, the EDP, and the Le Parfum. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, I might just get a sample of the Le Parfum. Again, try to stay on a budget here. So. Uh, I might do that and uh, bring you guys some extra content that way, all right? If you like the video, make sure you drop me a like. Leave a comment. Have you tried the EDP? Do you prefer the EDT? Have you tried the Le Parfum? Because again, I do want to get my nose on that one. Uh, and uh, maybe we could chop it up in the comment section, all right? In the meantime, hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, and of course, smelling good. See you guys in the next one. Peace.